Hey everyone, I'm Andy, game director for Valorant, and we're back with an update on Premiere. Just as a refresh, Premiere is our team-based competitive system that connects the game and the sport as one greater whole. And it's a fun way for any team of friends to compete together. Nice! Right, let's go! So with that said, on August 29th, Premiere will officially launch. The theme with the first official stage of Premiere in Episode 7, Act 2, is that now we're playing for real. We'll introduce the official divisions for Premiere. So instead of numbers from 1 through 20, like we used in the test phases, you'll now see Open, Intermediate, Advanced, Elite, and Contender at the top. Weekly matches will now cover all seven maps in the competitive pool. And last but not least, we'll officially start tracking your career history and results from here on out. Our commitment has always been to invest in the long-term health of the game and the sport. So when it comes to the sport, I'll let Leo, our head of Valorant Esports, go over the high-level roadmap for how Premiere will connect with the VCT. Thanks, Andy. The hype is real around here now that we're finally connecting Premiere with the VCT. But what will this new path to Pro bring? You'll see the first changes in early 2024 when all players competing in open qualifiers for Valorant Challengers will need to have played in Contender in Premiere, replacing the old requirement of being ranked Immortal and above. In Q2 of 2024, the top Contender-level teams will compete against Challenger teams in a promotion relegation event, fighting for a spot in the league. This means that for the first time, Premiere will feed straight into Challengers. And by the end of 2024, all new teams entering Challengers will have to climb through Premiere in order to be promoted upwards. Here are a few more details about the feature you should be aware of. Challengers and Premiere will be moving to a year-round ecosystem starting in Q4 of 2024. That means no more long breaks between seasons. Second, with the new integration into Challengers, teams will have more opportunities to advance upwards into their regional leagues than ever before. At the end of every CL stage, we'll have a promotion event to bring up the best teams from Premiere. And third, to ensure competitive integrity, pro players who are active on a Challengers or International League roster will not be able to join a Premiere team. Thanks again to all of you for helping us get to launch. This is the official starting line of the Premiere journey, and we'll return with more details and updates throughout this coming year. We'll see you next time.